All right, welcome back to 2K23, uh, beat up John Cena mode. <clears throat> Today we're going to be facing off, well, we're going to be playing as Roman Reigns and beating up John Cena. There's not really a lot more to say about that, so we'll just get into it. Go on, Cena. Talk all whispery. Is exactly who he says he is. I think a lot of folks don't like to hear it from Roman because of the arrogance that he says it with, but you got to believe it. He proves himself each and every night. He's gotten to the point now that he doesn't even step foot in the ring unless it's with a must-see opponent in a must-see event. Me, I'll take any match. Give me the first one, give me the middle, give me the last. I don't, just put me in the ring. Roman is like, not worth my time. That's how good Roman Reigns is. Roman has always been big. And Roman has always been muscular. Roman has always been athletic. And I think people are fooled by their first impression of Roman Reigns. He's super intelligent, and I think that gives Roman a tremendous advantage. I've had the luxury of being an opponent to Roman Reigns over the course of his career, and I could see it go from new underdog to peer to superior. Roman has failed a lot, but the guy doesn't quit, and SummerSlam was a clean-cut case of Cycle of Life for Roman, where he is clearly the favorite, but not too many big pay-per-views. Can you put John Cena in a marquee matchup and be like, he's outgunned, he's the underdog. This SummerSlam matchup with Roman Reigns, this specific one, that's absolutely what happened. Whereas any, any one of our matches in the past, you can see he was not yet there. SummerSlam 2021, not only was he there, he was polished and surgical. At this point in my career, it'd be easy to rest in my laurels. Come on, I'm wearing a tie. But having somebody like Roman Reigns, somebody I've yet to defeat, that pushes me. Maybe we lock horns again one day. Maybe we don't. Coming up short at SummerSlam, that wasn't the end for me. Yeah, I never saw this match. <laughs> I don't know anything about this match. So... I'm gonna start a call looking to move my bell with a headlock punch right away. How do I circle down square? Okay. <laughs> Paul Heyman looks so bad. <laughs> the flowers around him. Oh my god, that's so poorly done. Wow. That is like really that's like a custom superstar in like the old games where like things would just float on them because they didn't want to put any effort into making it actually fit the custom characters. Only it's Paul Heyman. <laughs> Can you stop it, please? What the hell was that? That's not a hit. What the hell? Uh stand behind oh I didn't I didn't read that all. Alright, this is it. You heard the fan, so I gotta wrap this up. This is when they had, like, much smaller crowds, isn't it? Because, because, like... Oh, I did it again! Oh! Because, like, COVID... This is, like, when we were starting to get, like, a little bit... A little bit back to normality. It's weird to think that's still around, that hasn't gone away. Show me in the corner, batter my ribs, shrug, tackle, heavy, how do I do that? Uh, grab, uh, circle X. Okay. Uh, two snap super, what, what, down square, okay. Circle down square. Oh, that's the move I was doing. Just give him even more of them. <laughs> okay. Well, he's stunned at the moment, so that's good. That means I can just do these without him screwing me over. Some of the ropes in the Irish whip. Okay. Go, go, go. You heard them. Gotta go, go, go. They just point to the look. Like, I know, like, you're supposed to be like, oh, yeah, he's the official. He's reminding you. But it's always, oh, wait, no, there's a big crowd for this. Oh. I don't know why. I thought there's, like, smaller crowds in, like, summer of 2021. 
I mean, there was no crowd in 2020. Maybe it was shorter than I thought it was. I mean, it's a lot of masks in the crowd, so maybe that had something to do with it. I don't know. Finger. It's the finger. The Roman finger. <laughs> the roaming finger. <laughs> That guy with the white suit with the raw SmackDown and WWE logo on it, and I think there's something else down the arm. Drip personified, obviously. I mean, no disrespect, by the way. You know, I just wouldn't ever, personally. <laughs> Yeah, this seems like a good time to do that. Why not? It's not like Cena's going to do something from behind while you're not looking. This is fine. you got plenty of time. All good. Oh, he's going he's gonna to break the count. Okay. That's surprising. I really thought he was going to get hit for a minute. So I've never seen this match. Uh, so, I don't know what the hell to expect. I've reading those stairs, did my best to fight back from those. I went to dodge from next to. It was a, it was a huge DDT! It was so big! Alright. Whoop! Whoop! <laughs> uh, how do I do the DDT? Uh, circle and then away from them. Well, not away, just left. That's square. Huge DDT! Just such a big DDT! That was pretty big, actually. Did, did flip. Uh, heavy combo. Okay. Whoop. 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 Put me out. A cravat sleep. Cravat sleep. What is. Oh. Wait, I didn't read the. Standing in front. Okay, so I have, I have gone for the right positioning here. Of course. It wouldn't be beat up John Cena mode if he wasn't stopping me from beating him up. Okay. <clears throat> Those free room gave me no time to recover. Trying to front of the attack. Okay. It's a really slow move he keeps going for there. It's like really, really easy to reverse, which I'm not complaining about if it sounds like I am. So I know Roman has a 99 in this game. I wonder, I'm assuming this, assuming this is a different variation and not just an attire. I'm assuming this version of him does not have 99 because this was like at the start. I mean, how long had he been Universal Champion for? About a year at this point? Yeah, yeah, it must've been about a year. That would be right. Because you want it from uh, The Fiend in a triple threat. I can't remember who else was in that. Was it Brian or something? Um, maybe that's Edge? I don't remember. I remember I know, the thing is, like, I've always kept up. I just don't remember it that well because, like, I wasn't watching it. Um, do a Superman punch. Ooh, ah! I think I just have to do this, right? There you go. Oh, yeah, of course. Camera angle and everything. Oh, that's not the Uwa. The Uwa is the spear. What am I talking about? <laughs> call myself a Roman Reigns fan. I've never called myself that, but I am now. Yeah, I think you want to... 20... What did he want, actually? It was definitely from The Fiend. I think I remember... Oh, it wasn't from The Fiend. It was a match involving The Fiend, if nothing else. Because um, it was just after SummerSlam 2020, I think, that he came back. There was like a pay-per-view like a, the very next week. Literally a week after. Yeah, Payback 2020 was when he just like came back and just immediately became Universal Champion. He beat The Fiend and Braun Strowman. No wonder I didn't remember who the third person was. 
it's one of the people that got me to quit watching <laughs> because I didn't like him that much. <laughs> the Braun Strowman mega push was such an unbearable time to sit through. It was so fucking boring. Just wasn't a fan. Everywhere online, everyone was losing their mind. You know, you had AEW coming on the scene. I don't like anything they were doing. And like, I just remember looking at everything and go, wait, no. I stopped watching in like 2017. What am I talking about? That was one of the things that got me to stop being interested anyway. Because AEW started in like 2019. But like, <clears throat> okay, so maybe not, maybe not AEW is to credit for me falling out of wrestling, but like, um, you know, like Braun was getting like this mega push. I wasn't really feeling that version of Roman. He was getting a hard push. People losing their minds over a Braun and Big Show match for some reason. Uh, like, I can't even remember what's happening on SmackDown. I know I just wasn't interested in it though. Jinder became WWE Champion. Orton had just beaten Bray at WrestleMania for the WWE title in what was one of the worst matches I've ever sat through. Um, and just right after WrestleMania 33, I was just like, this is all shit. And I feel like I just don't get wrestling anymore. <laughs> and I just completely fell out of it. Wait, why are people losing their minds over John Cena for a ball patch these days? You can see it there, and this is two years ago. What's going on with the room? And I don't even get it. It seems like a pretty, or from what I've heard, the pandemic era was actually pretty decent. I mean, Drew became the champion, and I'd always hoped to see that. That was one of the many things that made me go, maybe I should start watching again. But I heard that like it was kind of awkward to watch. Like, if you could get past just the death, deathly silent shows, because no crowd, I hear they were pretty good, but that it was kind of awkward to watch, too. I remember there was, like, a big Otis push at one point. I didn't, I didn't like Otis. I didn't really get it. It's just, there's been a lot of times on and off in the past few years where, like, I'll look at it and I'll go, I, just, I don't get it. I really didn't like uh, Theory's uh, selfie gimmick. Um... So now I managed to reverse break makes two attacks. Okay, so I have to reverse these. Yeah, I remember Theory, they were li like, it seemed like they were lining him up to become a champion, you know, with Money in the Bank last year. And I remember just being like, I don't, I don't get the appeal. I just genuinely, like, it's not even like the heel heat kind of annoying. It's like the I don't care and I don't really want to watch it kind of annoying. Um... I remember just being really off of that. I feel like at the moment what they're doing is probably the most invested I've been in a long while. Um, <clears throat> I'm really enjoying Cody. Uh, is it Gunther? Gun Gunther? I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm going to be honest. I don't want to be disrespectful. But he seems really fucking good. Uh, I've been enjoying his stuff with Sheamus. Um, obviously that's involved Drew as well. I really like Drew. There's loads of rumors going around at the moment about Drew leaving. Uh, uh, you know, I hope that's not true. Come on, Cena. Hit me. I have to hope that you'll hit me so I can reverse it. There you go. They seem like they're in a good direction. I like the new theory. I like what he's doing now. I just didn't like the whole selfie gimmick. Whoops. Hold on. I guess this is... Uh, Maybe it's just because I always really liked Tyler Breeze, and he got really shafted, and he did the selfie gimmick, like, a lot better. That guy was, like, such a, like... I know this is going to upset people, but Tyler Breeze felt like such a modern Shawn Michaels to me. That it was one of those friendly reminders that, like, what worked back then would have failed nowadays. It's really weird how that works, but there are there are certain people that worked back then that just wouldn't work these days. Like you know, someone like Brett would have never been a world champion had he started in like this generation. He'd have been probably about as appreciated as Chad Gable <laughs> or Tyson Kidd, for that matter. It's re it's really strange how that works. A lot of people talk about it the other way around. They'll look at someone like Roman 
and like as an argument for why they don't like him, they'll be like, oh, he would have, he would have never been big in the Attitude Era or Ruthless Aggression or whatever. But it works the other way too. It's like, um, someone with the charisma of The Rock would have probably not been as appreciated in today's era. I feel. Because we've seen it. Um, you know, people like The Miz and LA Knight, they're not on the same level as The Rock, but like, not not at all, don't get me wrong, but like, you know, they're, they're damn fine promos, they're damn fine characters, and they're great in ring too. They've got everything that they should need, but they get overlooked so that so that we can get I can't even think of a good example of like a main event star right now. When I look at today's era, the only thing is I look at it and I go, it's just Roman Reigns. <laughs> he, he is the main event star now. There aren't actually other people there with him. Seth Rollins is starting to feel a little too slept on for my liking. <laughs> what is that face? Okay. Well, that's, that's good. Seems like this would have been a pretty good match, honestly. With the right build, I feel like this would have been something I would have enjoyed. I think I remember hearing this match was happening and going, oh yeah, Cena's winning the title. Oh, definitely. Two years ago, I was convinced Roman was going to lose that Universal title, and he is still fucking holding it. Don't worry, because my videos like to date themselves, that means Roman is going to lose that title sometime soon. It's a classic. Uh, one less, one last spear, okay. He's going to kick out like he always does. Oh, okay. Not for Roman Reigns. Did he really have this song in 2021? I thought this was quite new. My bad. This is a damn good theme, by the way. So much better than his old one. His mania entrance at the one that's just been, depending on when you're watching this, that was 39. With all the fucking pianos. Was so cool. I do like Roman, I'm just not a big fan of, like, stupidly long reigns. They get boring to me, personally. You know, short attention span and all that. Um, alright, I think I've got time for, like, one more match, maybe more depending on what it is. I guess, most importantly, I should have a quick look at what it is. Uh, okay, we're doing this. God, I hope they haven't put both of them in. Because <laughs> they were very much the same match. Um, just with, oh no, of course they haven't put both in. Cena won the next one. This is, this is the story mode of Cena losing. I liked it in this picture, by the way, on the left. You can clearly see the Usos behind Roman, but they didn't put them in the, maybe they weren't at ringside for the match. I don't know. They don't show the entrances. So. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is an example of one of those individuals we're lucky enough to see. The match myself and The Rock was a wish list for me. And the template I used for this was a by any means necessary template. I have a legitimate beef with Dwayne Johnson. The first time he got a taste of the bright lights of Hollywood, he was out of here faster than I could say, Rocky, don't go. This guy has gone to another universe. The irony. The only way I can lasso him back, make as much noise as I can, and call this guy out for being a fraud. The people's champ. He's never with the people. Rock your words are see through. We got the WWE Universe to be part of a magical moment. The WWE has gone from the dominant and iconic. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? All the way to. You can't see me. You can see when the two people are like this for real. And I think that was undeniable. The Rock. The Rock says we do something that's never been done before. The Rock says we make the biggest matchup of all time. WrestleMania 28, John Cena versus The Rock. I got to rumble up enough noise 
and in the process really challenge this individual who I have great respect for and I idolize and who is just on another planet. But I got I got to for a second I got to touch the sun. I wanted this match for years. I basically spoke it into existence. And I thought I had the rocks number. Just like that. I was iconically sitting on the ramp, completely stunned, watching him celebrate. I could only cross my fingers that I get another chance. And then you did and you won. I don't know why you didn't mention that part. <laughs> I guess I was supposed to feel bad for Cena in this mode, so... Jesus, what is up with the lighting on the rock? What is up with these shadows? <laughs> yelling at the floor where the rock was laying. Headlock punch? Oh, I think I just did that. No? Uh, how do I do a headlock punch? Circle and then X. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Rear grapple. Okay. I'm glad that I, I went back and read that because I thought I saw that. What's up with the graphics on this? This one looks so weird. Maybe it's just because I've seen like WrestleMania 28 and like 2K... 13, 14, you know, I've seen this match in like, oh god, I don't remember which button it was, uh, X. Okay, cool, thanks. Uh, yeah, maybe it's just because I've seen it in like games with like way lower graphics that this looks like strange to me. This looks so odd. The Rock's character, what, he doesn't look real. What did they do? Okay, uh, I gotta do this stupid shit. I don't like this objective, I'm going to be honest. When they tell me to, to dodge reverse block, I, I don't really... I'm not really vibing with that one as an objective. It feels like they're just trying to fill in the match. Okay, that's great. Thank you, Cena. Enough now. It's enough. It's, it's enough. Whoop. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Got me a perfectly timed rebound attack. Well, like, thankfully, I know what that is. You know. <laughs> I know what a rebound is. I've been there. I don't think I've ever been anyone's rebound, actually. Um, I'm just looking to try it again. Okay. Alright, and that's what I'm just going to cut to some real footage. Footage from a WrestleMania. That's definitely not going to get a copyright claim. Just how fucking jacked and like covered in just shadows and shit the Rock's character model is, and it cuts to this, and he's he's not soft, but you know what I mean? Like he's a human, basically is the best way to put it. He stops looking like a game character in the most genuine way I can think to word that. Ah. Oh. I don't think we've done the Batista matches yet. There's got to be a Batista match, right? They didn't really have much of a feud. But I feel like there's got to be a Cena and Batista match. I'm surprised there wasn't... Oh, never mind. I was I'm surprised there wasn't a match against, like, Barrett or something, you know, from the Nexus. But, like, Cena kind of just killed them the whole time, didn't he? The match against Punk, obviously, would have been, like, a natural inclusion in this. But you know why that wasn't there. Nothing could really be done about that. I remember this first match being good, and I remember the second match being alright. It just felt like the same match. Turn the whole match on its head when you got me outside and before the rock on the tape. I don't know how to do that. Uh R2 and X. Oh hang on. Opponent leaning dazed against the announce table. Okay. And I drag by holding L1 and the stick. After a pressing circle. Oh, I don't have a rock bottom at all right now. He is fucking my shit up. I'm getting destroyed by him in this one. I don't know what's going on here. 
Some fan is insistent that this is it, though, even though the match doesn't look slightly done. Signature. Why? Why? I. Uh. So weird. I don't know how to describe it other than, like, the, the, the reversals and the timing and stuff in this game. It's so fucking strange. I have enjoyed this game, don't get me wrong. This has actually been pretty fun. A lot more fun than I was expecting it to be. That's a much better animation for that than, like, what they used to have forever ago. Well, I know. I know how to drag, alright? We're gonna get counted out. I think I messed up. I think it's like like seven. I need to reset the count. Oh my god, I need to reset the count so bad. Okay, arm wrench DDT. S circle and then up and X. Okay. Do you know how easy it would have been to have, like, you know when they, okay, so like here, for example, and he followed that up with the jump and close line at me in the ring. How hard would it have been to have then put, like, in brackets, like, uh, uh, I don't know how to actually explain this one, uh, run and X, Rather than, like, making you just kind of guess what they mean by a lot of this stuff and having to go to the pause menu. I don't know how to explain it, but, like, you know, I'm sure someone gets what I mean. Like, how hard would it have been? Like, that last objective where I had to just do a move. How hard would it have been to have just been, like, circle plus X or whatever? It feels like such an unnecessary, like, dragged out thing to keep, like, just naming moves and expecting you to know what they meant, like, right away. Run plus X. That's all it had to say in brackets with that instruction. And I would have known exactly what they meant and not had to keep pausing the match. Sometimes a vintage drive light combo. Okay. Just square. <laughs> Just something. Press square times number times to do a light combo. Rather than writing it as if you're like some kind of weird John Cena POV fan fiction. <laughs> some really direct instructions would not have been a miss. It's like a signature sharpshooter, so like R2 and square on downed opponent. And just put that there. It doesn't have to be wordy, because I know that's the argument of why they wouldn't. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking about this too much. I just feel like, I feel like they cut so many corners. You can really tell they just, in my opinion, you can tell. I could be wrong. You can really tell, to me, that they just don't give a shit about the showcase mode anymore. Which is weird, because that's literally what the game is, like, branded after, you know. 22 had Mysterio as the cover guy because of showcase, and uh, this game has Cena as the cover for the same reason. They don't feel... It doesn't feel as important. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, Jesus, that was a nice combo. Okay, wow. Respect that. Not a, not okay with losing right now, though. Oh, wow, I actually fucking did it. <laughs> this is me damaging your legs. I know you like to, don't reverse. Good. Uh, I know I'm not supposed to make him tap out, but I always try. Okay. So this tried stuff. Normally they mean that he did. I don't know why they keep using the word tried. Get off the fucking rope. Get, go! 
Get off! What are you doing? That's for the fans, apparently. You right there. That was for you. <laughs> Come on. Get out of the ring. Get out of the ring. Okay. I've got to try an Irish whip him into the stairs. There you go. That was a little more than a try, wasn't it? He's going to go back in the ring with to take me down to the rock bottom. Alright, cool. It's not going to be the end, but here we go. Alright, that's it. <laughs> Just keep hearing that, I'm sorry. <laughs> now it's time, yeah. Go on. Five knuckle shuffle or whatever it is. Did he even do the people's I can't remember. Um, probably, right? Yeah, yeah, he did. Okay. I've only seen this match once. I definitely have not rewatched this. I don't remember many at twenty eight and twenty nine being that good, to be honest. Or twenty seven. I think there was like a little streak there, and then thirty was like so good. I'm not even a Daniel Bryan fan, but I think 30 was just so good. Batista is literally my favorite, so obviously I'll always be a little bitter. <laughs> but that was so, it was obviously the right call, don't get me wrong. I just really like Batista. That's what a favorite is. It's someone that you support even when they're not the one that makes the most sense to win. Uh, attack the heroic syndrome. Okay. Oh, fuck. Why did I press X? I don't even know. Cena, please. I need to reverse slash break the next thing you try, which I haven't successfully done. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Alright, that's it. Ring the bell. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Okay. Whew. I thought he was going for an attitude adjustment. I was about to be very upset. Oh, no, 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 not so fast. Here's that clothesline from earlier. And one of these for good measure. Bah, 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 bah. Uh, top rope dive attack. Rock doesn't go to the top rope very often. What is this? Okay, thank God for that. Oh, right, yeah, classic Cena spot. The roll through into the attempted attitude adjustment that normally gets reversed or kicked down of. Be such a good finish, but it just never is normally. There you go. Okay. Now for some really awkwardly silent footage. Some commentary would really help with these scenes here. Even if it was just a re-recording, Michael Cole and Byron Saxton or whatever you want, Corey Graves, Pat, no, maybe maybe not Pat. Actually, I feel like I'd prefer it to just be deathly silent than anything to do with Pat McAfee. I'm being I'm being 100% serious. I know he is extremely popular. I'm sorry for all the fans out there. Can't fucking stand his commentary. Can't fucking stand when he gets in there. I'm just not a fan. <laughs> It's so maybe not him, but everyone else. Anything. Just some emotion, some commentary. Something to add to the match. <laughs> it's really silent cutscenes. Alright, that's it. Why did I just hear another? I mean, that fan was obviously right. That, that was, in fact, it. They were correct to have said that. Why is this song really quiet? 
Yeah, I remember that match being pretty good, <clears throat> to be honest. I remember being really surprised that Rock won. Obviously, the moment they announced the rematch at 20... Uh, yeah, 20... I wonder if it's 39. When they announced the rematch at 29, it kind of made sense why Rock won. They wanted to drag it out a little longer, but... No, I mean, it was good. Both their matches, admittedly, you know, they, they were all right. I just feel like the 29 one was just really similar. But, you know, they're both really good, obviously. Don't need to, don't need to tell you that. They're both absolute megastars. <laughs> yeah. Really, really quiet all of a sudden, though. I feel almost uncomfortable with how silent this has gone. And I'm so sick of all these copyright claims that are definitely coming in right now. It's not my fault, okay? 2K didn't want to animate anything. This is banned in your country. I'm sorry. 2K hate you. I don't know what to say. They hate YouTubers, and they hate people that want to watch this gameplay. It's the only answer I've got. How long is this going to go on for? <laughs> How much of the Rock celebration do we really need to watch? Oh, I guess we got to see the depression in John Cena's eyes. Oh shit, Brock Lesnar's gonna come back next week and he's gonna attack me. Everything's going so wrong. Alright. Speaking of Brock Lesnar. That's next! Uh, not not the, the Brock Lesnar match from Extreme Rules, which... Did Cena lose that? I feel like Cena lost that. I don't actually remember anymore. Maybe he didn't. I, I don't know. Either way, uh, when we come back next time... Uh, SummerSlam 2014. I think this is when Lesnar won his first title back? Maybe? My timeline's probably really wrong on that, actually. Don't listen to me. Um, how many matches are we in right now? So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we're almost there. The end was within sight. There's only, like, probably a couple more episodes left of this. Um, I will see you next time. Be sure to uh, I don't have anything funny to say here. Bye.